Emotions, a book written by Viraj Nandurkar. This is Chapter 1, The Symphony of Joy in the Heart of a Bustling City, where the hum of traffic and the rush of people drowned out the simpler melodies of life, lived a young woman named Jennifer. As a professional violinist, Jennifer's life was a symphony of notes, each played with precision and passion on the grand stage of the city's prestigious orchestra. Yet, amid the crescendos and diminuendos of her musical career, Jennifer found herself yearning for the sweet simplicity of the melodies from her childhood. In a tucked away corner of her apartment, beneath layers of forgotten memories, lay an old violin. Its strings, once vibrant and alive with the echoes of youthful dreams, now whispered tales of nostalgia. One rainy afternoon, as the city outside her window blurred into a watercolor of grays, Jennifer's gaze fell upon the dusty violin nestled in the corner of her apartment. The soft patter of rain against her window seemed to echo the quiet whispers of a forgotten melody. Jennifer, drawn by a sudden wave of nostalgia, approached the instrument with a mix of anticipation and trepidation. The violin, adorned with memories of childhood tunes, felt like an old friend waiting to be reunited. As Jennifer carefully cradled it in her hands, she could almost hear the echoes of laughter from her younger self, dancing to the rhythm of raindrops on the roof. The instrument, once a vessel for innocent melodies, now held the potential for a rediscovery of joy. Determined to unlock the hidden notes of happiness, Jennifer decided to dust off the memories entwined with the strings. The rain outside seemed to harmonize with the tentative notes she coaxed from the violin. The city's clamor faded away, leaving only the quiet cadence of her instrument. In that moment, Jennifer realized that joy wasn't lost. It was waiting patiently to be rediscovered amidst the raindrops and forgotten melodies. On a sunny Saturday afternoon, Jennifer stood in the heart of the bustling park, her violin poised like a magic wand ready to conjure joy. The first notes of Taylor Swift's song Blank Space wafted through the air, a gentle invitation to all with an earshot. At first, only a few curious passersby paused to listen. However, as the music wove its way through the park, an invisible magnetism drew people from all directions. Children, initially captivated by the whimsical dance of butterflies, found themselves irresistibly drawn to Jennifer's enchanting melodies. Their laughter blended with the notes, creating a playful symphony of innocence and joy. Office workers, accustomed to the urban hustle, discovered a respite in the musical oasis Jennifer had created. They took a moment to sit on benches, closing their eyes, letting the music become a temporary escape from deadlines and duties. As Jennifer progressed through the movements, the park transformed into a tapestry of shared emotion. Elderly couples, some swaying to the music, found themselves transported back to their youth, revisiting the romance of bygone days. The trees seemed to sway in rhythm, leaves rustling in agreement. The movement of joy had begun, an impromptu symphony that transcended age, background, and circumstance. As Jennifer continued to play, her initial hesitancy melted away, replaced by an infectious energy that emanated from her every note. The park, once a canvas of urban monotony, transformed into a kaleidoscope of emotions. Laughter echoed between trees, and smiles became the currency of this unique gathering. The crescendo wasn't solely in the music, it was in the connections forged between strangers. A child handed a flower to an elderly woman, their worlds bridged by the melody. Colleagues, who had passed each other daily without a second glance, exchanged stories inspired by the music. Jennifer's violin became a beacon, drawing people together in a crescendo of shared humanity. As the sun reached its zenith, casting a warm glow on the joyful assembly, Jennifer's violin led the ensemble through a collective crescendo. The music swelled, harmonizing with the heartbeat of the park. The crescendo was not just an auditory experience, it was a manifestation of the collective joy woven into the very fabric of the park. In a moment of respite between pieces, Jennifer gazed across the animated park. Children played in the grass, couples swayed to the music, and the elderly found solace on park benches. Her heart swelled with gratitude and a sense of fulfillment she hadn't experienced in years. As the sun bathed the park in a golden glow, Jennifer's mind drifted back to her childhood. She remembered the hours spent playing in the backyard, the laughter of her family during impromptu musical sessions, and the sheer joy that came with creating without expectation. I lost sight of this, Jennifer whispered to herself, a realization settling in like a soft melody. The joy was always in the simplicity, in the act of creating for the sake of creating. It's time to share this with others. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow on the park, 
Jennifer concluded her impromptu concert with a heartfelt rendition of Taylor Swift's song Love Story. The audience, now fully immersed in the experience, erupted into applause. Jennifer, her eyes glistening with unshed tears, felt an overwhelming sense of accomplishment and fulfillment. Inspired by the success of the spontaneous concert, Jennifer decided to make it a weekly tradition. Every Saturday, the city's park transformed into a haven of musical joy, a place where people from all walks of life came together to experience the beauty of shared moments. Jennifer's impromptu concerts became a source of inspiration for the community, a reminder that joy could be found in unexpected places and that the simplest melodies could resonate the deepest within the human soul. The moral of Jennifer's story was a poignant reminder that true joy often resides in the simplicity of life's melodies. In the pursuit of grandeur and success, Jennifer had momentarily lost touch with the essence of what drew her to music, the pure, unadulterated joy of playing. By reconnecting with her childhood instrument and sharing her music in a humble park, she discovered that joy wasn't confined to prestigious stages or accolades. The end. Thank you for listening.